Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimmy. Did you like that intro or what? So, this is a one year-ish review of the Flare Neo. Cheers to everybody out there that got one. Or if you're thinking about getting one and you found my video. Watch the unboxing and slash review from like a year ago. So this is a year after owning the Flare Neo. Um, let's just say, well, let's, let me start off by saying I, I enjoy using it. It's fun in like a kind of like a, a niche type thing, just because there aren't that many types of manual, I shouldn't say that. There are plenty of other manual um, special machines out there. This one is just a more affordable version of it. I think it's a lot easier. Well, I shouldn't say easy. It's, it's definitely more, I guess, environmental friendly as they advertised it when they initially launched this on Kickstarter. So it's cool alternative to using like a Keurig or something like that. Apparently those are very wasteful with all those little pods that they make. Who knew? But uh, yeah, this is a good alternative if you're looking to try and make espresso at home, but it won't replace like going to a coffee shop or anything like that. It's got a really small porta filter and you can, it says that you can fit like maybe, I think they said on the box or something like 18, 18 grams of coffee max. I've tried that and it, it doesn't work quite well. So I think the best range for me is like between like 14 and 16, maybe 17, but that's also kind of pushing it. So that's like a good range for me. And when I push the water through with the lever, it does get quite um, difficult. If you didn't get the, the grind setting right, that's the other issue that I was running into. Um, because I have the manual grinder, the Porlex mini grinder, it made it a little bit more tricky to try and tune that in and dial it in to get the correct amount of, uh, I guess, fineness in the ground, in the grounds. And that made it so that sometimes when I'm like, you know, as you saw in the intro, the coffee kind of just sprays everywhere because it created a lot of channeling. But that's also probably due to like me tamping it not very well. So it could be a number of factors, but you know, that's, that's one of the gripes I have with the Flare Neo. So if you're looking to try and get like, you know, like I said, you know, cafe, cafe quality espresso, maybe get the higher end version of their Flare espresso machines. Like they have versions where they do make pretty good espressos I've seen on Instagram. If you're just trying to save money and I don't know, get this as a hobby or something like that. Yeah, it's it's good investment. Oh yeah, totally get a good quality grinder because I think a lot of people don't pay attention to that enough or mention that enough. A good quality grinder will always make your coffee taste a lot better. Just because like you can always get like the same quality of grind after like many times of using it. Like with a manual grinder, you're not sure, you have to like kind of keep dialing it in and all that stuff. I mean, you gotta do that with like an ele electronic grinder too, but just less of it. Be sure that it's like a, a, a what was it called? A burr grinder, yeah, a burr grinder. Those will work way better. Like the one I have, the Porlex is a burr grinder and the, the grinder that's on the Brevel is also a burr grinder. But with the Porlex, it's like a ceramic burr grinder. And um, the the Breville is like, I think it's like, I know, I know it's some type of metal. I don't know if it's like aluminum or something like that, but it works It works so much better than the Porlex, in my opinion. I do like the fact that it's portable, just because, you know, I can take it anywhere. As case in point, I'm somewhere else now. And I'm, I took it along with me with some coffee and my scale and, pretty much the whole setup at, at, as I would have at home. But yeah, now it, it works It works everywhere, which is good. And I think if you buy like the higher end version, they have a case for it, which is kind of cool. 
to fly. And I think they do sell the case separately. They do sell a lot of upgrades for it separately, but it, it's like, I'd, I'd wanna just spend the money to get something that's already like ready to go instead of having to pay for extra stuff. And I, I think that was the other thing that they were advertising with the, the Flare Neo is that you don't need to buy all these extra stuff. Like I got the, the gauge to tell me how much pressure I'm putting and the right amount of pressure for an espresso is between eight to nine bars. And the cool thing is like, it tells me like how much pressure I've, I've been pushing on the lever. And sometimes it doesn't quite get there because like I said earlier, the grind quality needs to be just right. But the reason why they say you don't need it is that it comes with these pressurized porter filters, uh, the, the little red ones. And those tend to be, I guess, more forgiving if, you're, if you're, um, your grind quality isn't quite dialed in yet so you don't really have to worry about too much of like oh is this going to come out good or not like it'll restrict the pressure of water flowing through that coffee ground so that's that's a good i guess uh alternative and also like you know if somebody doesn't want to spend the time to dial in their coffee and whatever and they don't got the time to do that then they'll just use the red porter filter like me i like to see how i, I pretty much like want to test my skills on these things so i just use the black one, which is like a bottomless portafilter. I bought that separately. It comes with a little attachment to make it more like a pressurized portafilter, but that doesn't really that doesn't really work that well because like it's not very sealed when you push it in there. It just kind of like sits in there. But uh, sometimes if, I guess if you're not pressed all the way in at the bottom portafilter, then it'll go out the sides of the seam. It works like fairly well sometimes. I hardly ever use the Flare Neo. Maybe once in a while if I'm feeling like I want to make a cool video or something like that, like today. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, I mean, so far, not, not anything different from when I first got it. I still enjoy grinding my coffee manually, sometimes in the morning, but now that I have the Breville, it's way faster just to use the grinder that comes with the machine. I can definitely make two cups of coffees within like 10 minutes of each other. So that wasn't the case with the Neo. The Neo takes too much time just because the grinding part takes forever. So yeah, but yeah, like overall, my my initial impression of it was like, it's still the same, like I enjoyed it and I still think it's like a niche type product, which is what it is. But you know, you still get good quality coffee. If you're like trying to go down that manual route and you really want to be like into that realm, Get yourself one of those nano, uh, what was it called, nano foamer? Something like that, I forgot what the name was. But um, you can make microfoams at home using that without like a steamer, as you saw in the video as well. My latte art skills is not quite there yet. Actually, you know, it, I made some pretty good hearts using that nano uh, foamer and I did it with a matcha latte. Um, I don't know if I got a picture to show you, maybe I'll pop one up real quick. It works pretty well, but there's just, you know, a couple complaints I've had about it. Watch that video right here. I've got plenty of reviews on all these coffee stuff, coffee related stuff. So go watch those videos. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got today. So cheers to everybody. Like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And I hope you guys have a good one. Peace. What was that?